Hi, I'm going to show you how to graph functions of y. I have two up here right now. I have x equals y minus 1 squared minus 2. And I have another one over here, which is x equals the squared of y. So let me take you through the steps. Step 1, we're going to set them up as x equals f of y. Now I have them already set up like that. It was x equals y minus 1 squared minus 2 and the other one was x equals the squared of y. Step 2, we're going to swap the variables x and y. So now instead of the x equals y minus 1 squared, it's going to be y equals x minus 1 squared minus 2 and the other function is y equals the squared of x. Now what happened was we, we turned these into functions of x. We know how to graph functions of x, so let's go ahead and do that now. Now you can either do this by hand or you can use a graphing calculator. Uh, this one right here is x minus 1 squared minus 2. So that would be this function right here. And then we'll graph the second one. And there's y equals the squared of x. I'm going to go ahead and label them. Okay, so now that the graphs are sketched, which actually was step three, so let me go put that in now. And now that we graph them, we're going to move on to step four. So step four is to flip over the y-axis. So let's go ahead and take our graph and do that now. So here's what our two graphs look like before flipping over the horizontal, or flipping over the y-axis. Now we're going to go ahead and flip. So flip horizontally, which is to flip over the y-axis. And that's what our graph looks like. Uh, you can actually tell that it's been flipped over the y-axis. The squared function is now going in the other direction. You can also see that the functions um, have been turned over. So we know, you know that we flipped it horizontally. And finally, step five is to rotate the graph 90 degrees to the right. By the way, before we rotate 90 degrees to the right, if you are graphing this on a sheet of paper, flipping over the y-axis is like flipping the sheet of paper over. Um, and then now we're going to rotate 90 degrees to the right. So rotate 90 degrees to the right, and we have this. Now, if you're following along and you're using a sheet of paper, uh, the graph is on the other side of the paper. All you're going to do now is trace the graph that you see through the paper. And this is what you get. Now all we're going to do is relabel everything. So I've erased the functions. And now I'm just going to put in my own functions again. So we had the x equals y minus 1 squared. So x equals y. Oops y minus 1 squared minus 2 and that would be this and then over here we'd have x equals the squared of y and now we're done uh, just as a warning if your functions if you have other functions and they are not in terms of y like, as in you cannot you're not writing it uh, in this form for example if I had y equals x plus 1 Yes, we can put this in terms of y, but we know what this looks like. So what you're going to do is, after you graphed all your functions of y, and you did your uh, flip over the y-axis and then rotate 90 degrees, this is what your graph looks like. Then you can go ahead and then graph y equals x plus 1, which would you know, look something like this. So there you go. So just a quick summary, uh, if this is the graph that we want, now these are all functions in terms of y, what you're going to do is you're going to swap x and y, so you can see here that I swapped x and y, and now these are graphs that I can, or functions that I can graph, so this is my parabola, and then you can see that this right here is my squared function. After that, you're going to flip over the y-axis, so you're going to if you're doing this on a sheet of paper, you would just simply turn over your sheet of paper uh, and you'll get something that looks like this. Now, if you're doing this on paper, 
the graph's going to be underneath. Uh, so all you, you can see through the paper, but this is what it would look like. And then finally, we're going to rotate 90 degrees to the right. Now that we graphed or, or rotated, sorry, 90 degrees to the right, this is what we get, which does match the original graph that I was trying to find.